Hi, this is David Cochran, and today I'd like to get you started with Twitter's excellent Bootstrap framework. If you haven't seen it yet, this is an excellent set of user interface elements that have been very carefully crafted. Um, the markup and the CSS really well planned and laid out, and we've got everything from a really nice grid system based on the 960 grid, but customized in some nice ways. We've got some custom layouts, and I'm going to start using this navigation here to take me down. We've got typography, ways to make your media fit the grid, table styles, form styling. We all know the pain of forms, and to have a nicely styled form is a big deal, including with nice button elements there. Navigation, um, including some nice drop-down touches with styling and JavaScript to help that. Tabs and pills to help us switch back and forth between panes. Alerts, including nice styles and JavaScript touches to make those go away when we want them to. And popovers, and then a whole set of JavaScript documentation where you can actually jump over and see all this documentation on the nice little jQuery plugins that they've built for us here. Go back to the main page. If you keep on scrolling down to the bottom, you'll see that this has been built by um, two developers who deserve a lot of credit Mark Otto and Jacob Thornton at Twitter deserve a round of applause for what they've done for us. And what the folks at Twitter have asked is simply that we include and recognize um, attribute their work for what they've done, but we can take the um, code they've built and fold it into our own projects and build whatever we'd like and sell it if we'd like to do that. Um, so long as we just include the Apache License version 2.0 and um, acknowledge all the bits of code that the folks at Twitter have provided us. That's a pretty fair deal. And I'd like to s show you real quick what a few people are doing with this. If um, you were to go and search for Built With Bootstrap, you would find this little site over at Tumblr. And some of the sites featured here include this little one with just a nice look. You can see what they've done with the main toolbar up top. I'm going to zoom in just a bit. And um, then layout elements are looking really nice on that grid. There's uh, this site, which looks very different. Obviously, there's some custom CSS laid on top of the basic bootstrap CSS, but that's entirely what's intended to happen. We've got a bicycle shop, nicely laid out, using the fluid template that they've provided. Um, Code Academy, which a lot of you may know about, um, even is built atop the Bootstrap framework. A nice little concerts site, looking classy. And then the folks at msnbc.com have provided a streaming um, news update site that um, is built on Twitter Bootstrap. And if you look at it, you can recognize the drop-downs and other elements. And then, of course, they've laid in their own styles. So, obviously, this is a great framework. Lots of people are taking advantage of it, and we should too. So let's go find it and get the code. If you'll do a search for Twitter bootstrap. That will bring you here and follow this link. It takes you to the page that we were just looking at a minute ago. You'll see that we are right now today working with version 1.4.0. Now right now um, Mark Otto and Jacob Thornton are working on version 2 and uh, it's undoubtedly going to come out um, in the next several weeks sometime. But um, what we do today will prepare us for um, all the future of Bootstrap, which will continue to be, I hope, um, a living project for some time. So once you're here, to go get the code, we just need to follow this button here. We're going to 
go to where we can grab it. And I'm just going to get the zip folder and download it and work with it today. So I'm going to click this zip button. And I'm going to save that file to my desired spot. And then go start working with it. So there it is. Nice little zip folder. Unzip it. And I'm going to go ahead and start customizing this to make it mine. And I'm just going to simply call it my bootstrap. Maybe I'll call it 01 for today's purposes. Then I'm going to drill into that and use this folder as a place to build my own development version of the framework they've provided me. That's what we're going to start working on in just a minute. Let me um, just pause real quick and I'll come back with a second video and we'll get started customizing these files once we've looked through them a little bit.